it'll take you to a whole page I have on Maitreya. Uh, and, and talk about who he is and what he is and the day of declaration that everybody always expects around Easter time uh, when he magically appears on everybody's TV sets and talks to them. Uh, during uh, And then there's another one on the, the Pentecost. Uh, how will they expect him to appear during Pentecost? And so uh, go through all that. I might go through it next week. Because it's already been almost an hour I've been talking, so I'm not going to get into this today. Uh, but it's the many faces of Maitreya. And I've got all this at sherrytalkradio.com, so you can know who this guy is. He is the one the Iranians are promoting and touting that's coming. Right, and this is the first beast that's coming, folks. This is the first one we're going to run into uh, before the actual Antichrist, before actual Satan arrives on Earth. We're going to be dealing with this Maitreya. Uh, and, and it's interesting because even they expect, even the Muslims expect their imam to come along with Jesus. <laughs> Even they expect it, uh, and so, and that's exactly what I've been seeing in the in the in the Bible codes. Same thing I've been seeing, uh, and so because there's so many beasts, uh, and the woman one, and the the whole reason this whole Holy Grail thing is getting so big with the Illuminati is because they've got to explain this woman who's coming with them. Uh, when Maitreya and Sananda come, this Jesus come, they're with a woman. And so the Illuminati is trying to, to prepare uh, the world uh, for this woman that's coming. So they're trying to say it's Mary Magdalene, that, they, that Jesus and her were married and had children, and blah, blah, blah. Who she is, and it's almost amazing, you know, don't, don't you know what, I'm going to tell you right out what I believe. And I'm going to tell you right out, I don't know if I'm 100% correct either. Uh, but I believe it's Eve. I believe that Eve is coming with Satan and Maitreya as the woman beast. This mystery queen of heaven is Eve. And I say this because, you know, I, I sent out things months ago about Lilith. I knew there was a woman, and I, I knew this female beast was from the beginning. And so you look at the six-day creation, the creation of Lilith. Because she was a six-day creation, a Genesis 1 creation, with Lilith. She wasn't, uh, Eve was created in Genesis chapter 2, where Lilith was created in Genesis chapter 1. And the Lord kept telling me, it's not Lilith, Sherry. It's not Lilith. And this is, of course, naturally after I posted this article on Lilith. I'm doing all this, this research and stuff, but I'm so sure it's not Lilith because nothing else makes sense to me. I couldn't even fathom it would be Eve, because I couldn't fathom it. Probably why the Lord just didn't break out and tell me then, because, uh, I couldn't fathom it could be Eve. I still don't know for sure. Uh, but it's not Lilith. And this mystery queen of heaven, uh, what does come to mind, and, and this is the way the Lord works. He always makes you work for the information and, and small bits and pieces of revelations. Um, he, Satan promised Eve that she would never see death. And you know the story of Solomon. Solomon was the wisest man on earth. He had all this wisdom directly from God himself. And yet died in, in a multitude of paganism, witchcrafts, and sin. You know? The Illuminati wants Solomon's temple rebuilt because it was the greatest monument to paganism at that time. Now you think that the Solomon built the Lord's temple. But in the basement of this thing, he had also incorporated, by the time he died, all of his wife's pagan gods. And Solomon was one of the greatest occultists of all times. He had totally abandoned the Lord. And he had, he is the author of, uh, uh, the book of Necromancy. Uh, I think that's the name of it. I could be wrong. It's, it's the, it's the occultic book. And I, you know, I don't care if I'm right or wrong when it comes to occultic satanic books. But I can tell you exactly what's in it. <laughs> Just, it's the one where, where they, they, they teach you how to conjure up, uh, names of demons and spells. It's the Book of Incantations. I think that's what, maybe is what it's called. That's called the Book of Necromancy because you're talking to the dead. But it's a Book of Incantations. And this was written by Solomon. This was written by supposedly a man uh, who was one of the most wise in, in, in all the earth and all of all time. Solomon. And he had totally just abandoned the Lord, backslid and walked away. Uh, became one of the greatest occultists this earth has ever seen. Had all of the wisdom... Uh, 
because occult just means hidden knowledge. Uh, he had all these hidden secrets and knowledge and mysteries. And somehow it incorporated them into the temple that he had built for the Lord. And so the pagans liked the Solomon of Temple, the, the Solomon's Temple. Of course, they refer to it as Solomon's Temple. They don't call it the Lord's Temple. Because uh, remember, David wasn't allowed to build the Lord's Temple. It was Solomon who did. And then Solomon turned it around and just made the shrine to all these pagan demons and, and deities. And so uh, the Illuminati, you'll often hear of them uh, talking about Solomon. And they're not talking about the good part of Solomon when Solomon was following the Lord and loved the Lord. They're talking about the evil and bewitched Solomon that turned his back on the Lord and become very deep into Satanism and demonism and witchcraft and all these other things. And so when uh, Solomon dies, uh, and we don't know if he ever repented uh, before he died or not and came back to the Lord. Uh, but Eve was the same way, I, um, I believe. I'm, not, I'm just going to limb and say this. I don't know if I'm accurate. I don't know if I'm true. Just ask the Lord. Ask Him to reveal it to you. Uh, Eve also turned uh, towards the end of her life because Satan had promised her immortality. You shall surely not die. He, you know, when he told her to lie in the garden, you shall surely not die. Uh, and so she turned as well. And so now she's just uh, somehow, she's been this queen of heaven uh, that everyone's been worshipping all these years and everything has actually been toward Eve. It really turns twists. And it's, there's still so many things about the beginning that are so hidden and so deep. And always so out of reach. And you get little pieces and twinkles here and there of revelations. Uh, there's still something missing about the first day creation that I haven't grasped yet. I can just feel that there's a hole there. I haven't placed it all together yet. I haven't pieced it all together. Uh, but you know what? Uh, it just comes to waiting and patience on the Lord and, and waiting for Him to reveal it. Maybe He's revealed it to some of you out there. I don't know. Um... And that's all you can do is ask him every day to reveal the truth and all things to you. Uh, and he will. And it just takes time. He doesn't do it all at once. He gives you a little piece here, a little piece there, a little piece here, a little piece there. Uh, because, uh, you know, once you can grasp the fact that there were two different creations, a six-day creation and an eighth-day creation, two different creations in Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2, uh, then some of this other stuff starts to make sense. Um... But there's still something there that's missing. There's still something there I haven't grasped. Uh, and so maybe somebody else has. You know, maybe somebody else has. Uh, but this whole thing with Eve returning with Maitreya and Satan uh, during the tribulation period would just... That would just be wild. That would just be wild. It's not Mary Magdalene, folks. That's what, the, that's what the Illuminati wants you to think. Whatever they want you to think, think the opposite. You know it's a lie. You know, it's a lie. They want you to think Satan is, is Jesus when his real name's Hillel. Uh, you know, and I'm looking right at him on my website. It's the same Jesus I grew up seeing on the church, the, the cover of our church bulletins week after week after week. This portrait of Jesus that Michelangelo painted, and it was Satan. And they, and they cut, said, this is Jesus, and they hung him in all the churches. Uh, and so they've had Satan hanging in churches. Protestant churches and Catholic churches for 2,000 years they have all been pictures of Satan. And we've adopted them as pictures of Jesus. And he's coming with Eve. Uh, and I don't know who this, how this Maitreya fits in. I don't know exactly who he is. Maybe he's the male that was created with Lilith during the first day creation. I don't know. I'm, I'm grasping there. I don't know who the male was in Genesis chapter 1 that was created. Uh, if the woman was Lilith, wh who was the male? Because if Adam wasn't created until Genesis chapter 2, who was the male created in Genesis chapter 1? That's one of those questions that have never uh, even been approached before. I mean, we've all kind of figured out Lilith was the one for chapter 1. And we didn't, you know, any, if anybody knows, send me an email. You know, send me, the, send me an email, send me the info. But I certainly have never heard anybody else talk about it. Uh, I just seem to be the always one willing to go out on a branch and a limb and question things and then search the Lord for answers on them. And I don't always have the 